Who of these teams, do you have to pick one of these two, who, who more looks like a playoff team to you right now? Well, after watching that game tonight, it looks like the Braves. But, yeah. I'm, but you know, I'm going to stick with my guns. I'm going to stick with the St. Louis Cardinals, and I'll tell you why. I think the Braves have a tremendous lineup. you got Acuna, you got Ozzie Albies, obviously Lincoln Riley. You know, uh, I mean, Riley just doing his thing right now. I'm thinking about football season for some reason. All right, awesome. Right. Right. We got you. <laughs> right. Anyways, uh, you know, I feel like right now the Braves have a, a tremendous team, but you know what? It's a young team as well. They've got one of the youngest staffs in the National League. Absolutely. And I think the Cardinals were in a good spot, right? You don't go out and get a guy like Paul Goldschmidt if you don't plan on winning the division. Right now, Ozuna's doing it right now, and they're right. doing this all without Carlos Martinez. Absolutely. You know, I mean, to be able to be there where they are, it's a baseball town. I feel like this team's got a great chance, at least a little bit more than where the Braves are. Right I, I like St. Louis. They're playing base, better baseball on both sides of the ball. They're pitching better. They have Atlanta in the ERA and average against. And on the offensive side, they have them in batting average and run score. They're playing cleaner baseball. They're catching the ball. Mm -hmm. They were booting the ball the last couple years. Yeah, that's which true. Is uncharacteristic of the St. Louis Cardinals, but they're better at it. The one thing I'm concerned about Atlanta Braves, even though I have them winning the division, they're still walking a ton of guys. There's yeah. a young rotation. It's a young bullpen. They lead the league in walks. So that's concerning to me. And when you go up against the better ball clubs, it will bite you in the backside. So they need to work that out. They do have offense, but I still like St. Louis right now moving forward. Well, right now, even, oh, sorry, KB. Even no, no. Look, looking at the run differentials right now, I mean. The, you love the run yeah, differentials. Yeah, I'm telling you, that stuff, that stat really ends up paying off later in the season. I'm right. not saying the World Series champ's going to do it, but right now, the Cardinals are a plus 27. The Braves Absolutely. are a minus 6. You can't continue to keep walking people in this league, man, because those big boppers will get you. Agree with all that. Cardinals are only 4-10 and 10 in the month, though, fellas, so they are struggling, and now that's if they bad, lose Bad today. last 10. A bad last 10. 3-10. 3-7. We're Just working saying. on it. Uh, by the way, Austin Riley, his second <laughs> game, he homered last night, just missed his tonight three hits. He led the International League. 15 home runs already this year before mm -hmm. he got called up, so uh, quite the start for him. He's playing left field. He's naturally a third baseman. Every team has your number, and that's just how it goes. And, and as it goes on, it starts to be a mental thing, too. When you make one mistake, and then you're like, oh, no, here we go again. So he has a little bit of that. But he has the stuff to be able, once he gets a solid start, it'll be just fun. What I'm curious, though, so early in the show, we're showing you Marcus Stroman is pitching tonight and talking about him because Ken Rosenthal said, hey, this is a guy the teams are going to target this year as far as the trade market. We know Toronto's not going to be good, so they're going to look to move parts. What about Zach Wheeler? What about the Mets? He's a free agent after the year, D-Train, right? He, he's obviously got a ton of talent. Absolutely. Mets... They're in it now. Will they be in it at the deadline? I don't know. It, it all depends on the direction of the club from the front office standpoint to the manager, everything. They have a ton of question marks. They're just a week away from, a week away from having a team only meeting about the state of play in that locker room. So it's concerning. You can get a lot of guys for him, a lot of prospects if you want to trade him. But if you feel like you can still stay a race in this division, he's a solid number three and he can win a lot of matchups. He's got frontline stuff and he can keep you in that race. I trust him, man. I've been a fan of him. He's had some injuries, but when he's out there performing, he's one of the best young pitchers in baseball. Yeah, if you think about it, man, he's got the stuff to be there, right? I mean, for the last however many years he's been there, what, is this his fourth year, fifth year over there? Like five, fifth year, ten, yeah, ten injuries, he, you know, he missed obviously. all of 15 and 16 with right. injury. You know, like we were talking, you know, he had an unbelievable second half last year, but also, too, he sat behind guys like Jacob deGrom, right. Thor, right? right? He's learned a lot, right? This guy adds a lot of value to any team, and if you're going to ask me if I would have Marcus Stroman or Zach Wheeler. I'm going to take Zach Wheeler a hundred out of a hundred times. Mm -hmm. He's got great stuff. Like Train said, frontline stuff. I mean, he's going to he's going to light up the radar gun Absolutely. on you every night, right? And, and he's also a leader. You heard what he said tonight. I take full responsibility mm -hmm. of that. And by the way, as an ex-player, I'm saying to myself, I want to be out there for that guy. Yeah, right? I want him on my team. Yeah. I think there's something to be said for that. He seems like a classy guy. He's man. a good dude. Yeah, yeah and, 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 and all you want for guys like that is to have success. I've known him a while. As long he's as they don't dude. play the Nationals, he'll be okay. Yeah, 100%. Get him yeah. in the American League, bro. I'll tell you this. He goes deep in games. You know, he, he's yeah. had a ton of six, seven inning starts this year, and the Mets aren't paying. They already paid the ground. They're not paying Syndergaard yeah. and him, too. Yeah, you got a point on that, baby. I'm yeah. sorry. They're well, not he gonna, Health is just a thing for him. He's got to he, prove he'd he be a gem for somebody to go out and get it.